So I thought we'd stop and take a look at this fallen tree. And the tree has uh, blown over and has been decaying for a number of years. It kind of symbolizes the cycle of life in the soil. With the plant that has grown here probably for a couple hundred years is now going back and becoming new soil. Uh, this is done by a combination of organisms. If we kind of break this apart, this used to be solid wood, you might have built a house out of it. Now it's pretty soft. Uh, in fact, here we go. If we can take a close look in here, you'll see we've got some uh, termites which uh, chew up the wood. They don't actually digest it themselves. They have, they're kind of like cows. They have bacteria in their gut that can digest the lignin in the wood. It's very hard to, for most creatures to digest. Some termites actually f are farmers and they feed the wood to fungi. And fungi uh, can easily digest this lignaceous material. So there is a class of fungi that commonly called the white rot fungi. And you can see why it's called white rot. You see the white? And these are the fungal mycelia. And they have no problem uh, digesting this very woody material. And then uh, other organisms will then eat the fungi. And you'll have a cycle of life starting over again. And in time, a lot of this carbon uh, will either go into the air because it's being respired by these various organisms or it will become part of the soil organic matter where, where it will be stored for centuries and millennia helping to keep the atmospheric balance. Some nice examples here. Let me bring this over to you. Lots of life in soils and especially where you have a rich source of carbon. Here you can see the the little uh, termites. They look kind of like ants. In Africa they call them white ants, but they don't have a skinny abdomen. They have a big fat abdomen, unlike ants. And in here, all this fuzzy stuff, that's the fungal growth, which is digesting the lignin that the wood is made of.